All right, this is going to be a quick video on how to uh, program the Galcon series of controllers, uh, at least the AC6S, AC12S, DC6S, and DC12S controllers all have the same interface. I think a number of others do as well. Um, so this tutorial should be universally applicable to all of them. All those controllers are capable of running um, like missed propagation time, so they can set down to the second um, timer intervals. And so I actually need to adjust one of my misting tables time. So I'll show you basically how to do that here and then walk through any of the other settings you might need as well. Um, first to familiarize with the controls, these are the different menu options running down the sides here. Um, we'll kind of explain those as we go through. To move between menus, we use this curly button. So basically that says, okay, whatever we have set is good. Let's go on to the next thing. Um, when you arrive at something you want to change, you have to make it start blinking. Um, back and forth and so we're going to basically use this to select what it is we want to change and then we'll use the plus or minus keys to change our values. So let's get started here. I'm just going to press the curly menu once. It's going to ask me to select what valve I want. Right now it's set on valve 6 so if I wanted to change that I hit the forward arrow that starts blinking and I either go plus or minus to whatever valve I want. In this case I do want to adjust valve 6 so that's great I'm on valve 6. I hit my arrow again to adjust or advance to the next menu. Now I'm on duration. You can see the little hourglass um, window there. And currently this is 0 hours, 0 minutes, and 40 seconds as my duration, which is what I have my misting table set at. That's good. I'm okay with that. But again, if I wanted to adjust, I hit my arrow. I could change the hour up or down, right? I could make it a one hour, way too long. Um, or I can go to minutes, right? Change as many minutes as I want plus or minus, go to seconds, but I'm good with that. So again, we'll move to the next menu. Okay, right now, this, this is a misting bed. It's set on cyclic irrigation, which means every single day it works. It just goes for at a preset, uh, during a preset time window, it just goes. And this time means that every five minutes, this valve will open for 40 seconds. So if I wanted to change this, again, I could hit the arrow. I can change it to whatever time interval I want, but in this case, I want to change this to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go up. I think five minutes is the smallest interval you can get, 10 is the next up. So I'm happy with that right there. And I will hit select. Cool, so now I'm on starts, start time. Um, this one is not important because I'm in cyclic irrigation mode. So um, to go back, I'll show you that just here real quick, run back through the menus. So when you're in cyclic irrigation mode, I'm gonna go back to the days. You see that little circular arrow icon up here um, that basically says every 10 minutes for 40 seconds, run this cycle between and then we'll set our beginning and end times later. Um, so you need to be in cyclic mode and once you're in cyclic, basically your start times, this next thing, isn't really important because you're not setting um, an exact daily start time on a, on a specific day of the week. You're doing it every single day. So I'm just gonna move through this. Start one, don't need to have it. Um, this is next to sensor. So this is uh, the capability for, to have a rain sensor plugged into this unit. I don't have one at this time, don't need one here. So I moved in the next. Water open. So this is um, a feature that only shows up when you're in cyclic mode on a certain valve. And so basically I'm saying at 7 a.m., um, every single day, I want it to begin watering my cuttings every 10 minutes for 40 seconds. And that'll repeat on up until, if I hit the next menu, water close, it'll end at 7.30 p.m. since we're at the height of summer right now. Um, and again, I can change either of these values by hitting this arrow, right? Changing the time. But I'm good with that, right? Manual, if I wanted to just punch it and, and make it work real quick, Right now it's set to off, but all I have to do is hit plus. If I can hit plus, you see it now goes to on. We get the little water droplet over valve six saying yes, it's working. And I can switch it back to off by pressing minus. Okay, It'll only run for as long as the current program is scheduled. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at how to set something for a, a non-cyclical irrigation cycle. And in this case, how to take something that's already on a cyclic cycle and set it to specific days of the week. Because sometimes it can get a little bit confusing um, once you're in here. So I'm going to select my valve. Valve 3, this is a valve that's feeding perennial fruit trees. 
um, currently. So yeah, that's good. I'm going to select that valve. Duration, hour, 35 minutes. I'm happy with that. Move to the next menu. Days, right? So right now I'm on cyclic irrigation. Every five days this cycle goes for an hour and 35 minutes. I want to change that. Let's say we'll, we'll select Monday and Friday. So I'm going to go back here. I hit my, my arrow button, start blinking on the five days. Okay. Um, and then we can basically take this back to once we see the O-N-C-E, the once symbol come up. We'll take it down to hours, two hours, seconds, and two, two, one, boom. Okay, so now what we can do is I go back, once it's blinking once, I hit this arrow again. And now we're going to go back to days of the week mode. So in this case, it's blinking on the days. I get to select which ones I want to have the water cycle go. So I'm gonna hit plus on Monday. I don't want Tuesday, so I'm just gonna advance it by hitting the forward arrow to select the next day. Now I'm on Friday, we will add that as well. And then I'll advance through the rest of the week. So, oops, there we go. So we got Monday and Friday, right? If I went all the way through the menu again and it goes back to once, I just, or to the cyclic mode, I just click past that. So I'm set on Monday and Friday, which is great. I'm happy with that, so I'll move to the next menu. Then I'd set my start time. Um, midnight would probably be a good time or sometime in the early a.m. So I could change that as I as I saw fit right in here. Maybe I'd start at 3 a.m. Um, just so they'd be watered in the coolest part of the day. And then we'll move forward from there to the other start time. So you can have up to four start times per station. Only want one, um, but you could, again, hit a plus and then add another one if you so wanted. Um, start three, start four. Good with all those, no sensor, and then there's my manual function again. So just to review, we go through that, I select the valve, select my duration, hour 35, Monday and Friday, right? And if I wanted to change that back to cyclic, to saying just every five days, just do it. Um, that's a better interval instead of picking days of the week. Then I can hit my arrow again, right? Say, no, I don't wanna add any more days of the week. In fact, let me, uh, let's me let review that too. I can delete days. So while this is blinking, right, I'm like, oh, I only want to go once a week now. Hit minus. Now that one's empty. I'll advance up to Friday. Do the same thing. Nope. Don't want that. Go all the way through. I'm back to cyclic mode every five days. That's great. That works right now. Actually, let's change it to four. Things are getting a little dry out there. Uh, every four days, wonderful for valve three. And I'll advance to my next menu. Currently starts at 10.30 a.m. Probably set that up a little bit earlier, but I'll save that for after this video. And that's that. That's a Galcon controller. Um, fairly simple once you get to know it. Not too complex, but a little bit, just takes a little bit of time to get to know. Hope that's helpful, guys, and good luck out there growing stuff.